2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Please, you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam, and this player starts their round in the lead. How should they approach today? Well, with such a small lead, Luke, I think that they need to produce something solid. The small leads are no fun. I mean, you're out in the lead and you're excited about that, but it can be lost so quickly if they're not careful. One bad, one bad decision could wreck it for them. Can't wait to find out what happens here. And let's see what he can do here today. Handy effort, that one, from about 100 yards. Going with the pitching wedge here. Outstanding shot, high quality. This putt coming up is for birdie. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. That is definitely a confidence builder. Currently in first position. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Look. Coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Oh, that was pure. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up this shot from about 120. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. All right, we're going with an extra club here. That's inside the house of opportunity. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. Frustrating. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Just a four footer remaining. Yeah, nice to make a mid range par putt. Now over to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, well played. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. to see what this par four has in store. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well done. Time for the second shot into the third. Going with the seven. Now that's heading further left than they wanted, I think. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. Oh, that's a sensational putt to make. And what about the glimpse they just gave their rival? Come and catch me now. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's catch up with Ricky Fowler. Big time play that one at the right time too. And look out, guys, this rivalry looks like it's going to get pretty interesting today as he's making up some ground on his playing partner. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Beautiful swing there. And what are we looking at here, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. And choosing the eight iron here. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Get in the hole. Well, that should limit the damage. Nicely done. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. Moments like that deserve another look. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. Now, five shots up after that hole. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Opting for the six iron. Nothing good out on the right hand side, Luke. This headed for trouble. Well, a little off the target with that one. 
One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been hitting a lot of greens today. Didn't that look good for a long time? Certainly makes putty easy if you can chip it that close. Love watching this player around the greens. You finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hole it? Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Oh, great swing there. and taking aim from around 100 yards here. Oh, I guess they're seeing something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. Wonderfully played. Here's a chance to get to 12 under. And that should secure the par on this one. Now oh, that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Not really what they were hoping for there. Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? Guys, you know the worst lie you've ever seen? Yeah, time's up by 10. This is nasty.
A birdie putt awaits. Just didn't drop. Putting for par. Okay, let's head to the next. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. So after that effort, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Looks like they've got the five wood. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. What's in front of them, Henny? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. Was on a good line. And this one is for his par. Now at 11 under for the event. Oh, exciting times on the tee of a par five. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. That swing. Reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Yeah, oh, no, this one's left. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. A look to get to 13 under par. Putting for eagle. That always sounds good. Oh, just missed. This putt is about eight feet. Yep, tracking nicely. And with that, 
That's their fourth birdie. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. Oh, that was a tasty little morsel, wasn't it? Okay, it's time to make the turn and a good time to reflect on the action so far, Rich. Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. Golf clap, that's a beauty. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Oh, almost went in. Fairways and greens, easy game, isn't it? Putting for birdie here. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. It's Ricky Fowler's turn now. Just needs this one to kick right. Well, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Yeah, this is lovely. That wasn't their best approach, Beamer. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Going and going and going. And Henny, what's he looking at here? And from about 105 yards.
Going with the 9-iron, I think. Now, that looked pretty good the whole way. 14-footer. Uh, That line was looking good, wasn't it? And this putt coming up for his par. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? That one should find the surface. Really controlled the flight there nicely with that wind. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? win so far this season. <laughs> Nicely done. And here we are with the third shot. Just three feet to the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Leading by five shots after that. On the tee of a par three. to have chosen the seven iron. Ah, oh, great shot. He yeah, has about 14 feet to the hole. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. This is tracking nicely. That was a gallant attempt. Par putt coming up here. Now over to Ricky Fowler. Birdied their last hole. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Oh, can you believe it? That was all luck, but listen, luck counts in this game. Mark me down for a one, I say. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. 
How is he going to play this? Lay back or go for it and extend his lead. Oh, that is cranked right out there. Can it get onto the surface? The power play. you got to love it. That a way to stay aggressive. Great play. Oh, so close. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Four feet to the cup. Yes, they've made it. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Had a big eagle on the last hole. Currently minus five. Currently tied for seventh position. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Great touch. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. That's a good looking shot there. Going with the five wood. Uh oh, this one's out, heading towards the rough. Getting ready to play their third. Time now for the fourth shot. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Yeah, that putt will pushed. Just a short putt remaining here. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. He's currently sitting in first place. Let's see what happens here at the 17th.
Looks to be going with the six iron. Playing within their comfort zone there. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt 16 feet from the cup. This is their look at birdie. Well, that's a nice line. Now over to Ricky Fowler. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Sitting at four under for the day. Currently tied for 10th place. Oh, he liked the look of that the whole way. That is absolutely brilliant. What an outstanding bunker shot. What a play. Great shot. Nicely done. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Got to say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Needs a little ground help to the left. Yeah, that was a side play. Outside chance here for the birdie. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. That'll sting a bit. It's downhill the entire way, and yet, unexplicably, comes up short. Gets that one to go down, and that'll end the day's work. And as the second round comes to a close, they've continued their wonderful play. A nice buffer there on top of the leaderboard. Flawless is what this player has been through two rounds so far, Luke. Absolutely flawless. Amazing performance. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Bean, Thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.